It was a little over 16 months ago, on Saturday, August 1st, 2009, that we brought you a very special feature story of an extraordinary couple from Houston, Texas, Ministers Cunny and Patrick Guy. Even though Patrick was stricken with Lou Gehrig's disease, a motor neuron disease, the couple did not permit their circumstance to hinder their 20th year wedding vow renewal. Now, as we fast forward 16 months later, Patrick and Cunny are still celebrating life. Cunny honored Patrick with a birthday bash celebrating 54 years. The celebration was held at their brand new home in Houston, Texas. Just thank God for Patrick, and I wish you a happy birthday, Patrick. I just want to let you know how much I love you and your family, and I just thank God that... In spite of, he was a hard worker, family man, he loves his wife. Mm -hmm. he loved, and anybody walked in that store knew that Connie God was his, his wife, mm -hmm. and he loved her. Mm -hmm. and I, on occasions, I was talking to Sister Leona mm -hmm. uh, a couple years on the phone, years ago on the phone, and she was telling me she was going through some health issues, and Patrick was going through some health issues also. Mm -hmm. Brother Patrick went over there and prayed for her. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the type of man he is. Mm -hmm. he First of all, if he had not been that husband and father he should have been, you wouldn't see that family so close. Mm -hmm. If all of my bones flesh of my flesh, <laughs> and I'll never forget, that was his favorite thing. If all of my bones flesh of my flesh and stuff, even though he wasn't all a big, great singer, but he was. This is to Patrick, and Patrick, this is from me and Eddie. What makes a special friend? An open heart, a listening ear. Pat. Pat. <laughs> We've been married about 15 years here now. Yeah, and uh, somewhere along up in there, that first year or two, whatever, I was hearing about Connie and Patrick. And I think I met you first, kind of. Um, Patrick is a true worshiper. That's one of the things about him that I just love and admire. And even though uh, physically there is a challenge, we face many challenges. But this man's spirit is so awesome. I've never seen him mad or angry at God. He worships God. He reads the word of God. Anyway, he's just so awesome. And I just want to thank you all for typing. He's going to say... First, I must give honor to the Almighty God. I would also like to recognize my spiritual parents, Apostle Jerome Nelson, and his beautiful wife, and co-pastor, Betty Nelson. They and the spirit of Life Church family have certainly been a blessing to my family and me during this trial. I also recognize other pastors who are present. I must also recognize the matriarch of this family, and mom, Lord Jane Thomas, without whom I would not have been blessed with a precious jewel of a wife, for such a time as this. Our union was preordained. It was a kiss of destiny. I would like to take this time to thank you all for coming, to celebrate with my family and me on my 25th birthday. <laughs> it's my 54th birthday. But you all could agree that I don't look a day older than 25. In spite of my ongoing temporary trial, I still declare that I am tall, dark and handsome. Oh well, so much for humility. On a more serious note, I publicly thank God from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to live, to see my 54th birthday. I never could have imagined that right before my 51st birthday, that I would become a victim of Lou Gehrig's disease. However, I am absolutely grateful for the supernatural strength God has given me, spiritually, emotionally, and physically, that has enabled me to endure and face this temporary trial head on. The enemy of my soul intended for me to use my bed of affliction as an incubator for misery. To the contrary, I am using it as a platform for ministry. The couple, their family, and their friends are still believing God for a miraculous healing for Patrick. Praise Patrick. Oh, days are evil now, Father. We need a long peace like this. <laughs> anyway, oh, it's just the goodness of God. That they